Give y'all a new secret now. This right here, fishing to be. This is gonna be the through line. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. One thing that I'm seeing, one thing that I'm seeing is that today, the people who getting married, the men and women who getting married, I'll tell you what it is. E Mo Shano intelligence we don't have a lot of it we don't have a lot of it one of my guys who you know, came to me for mentorship and take some courses and stuff db that i uh, posted before his book he teach on emotional intelligence and we don't have a lot of it and i'm gonna tell you something one of the most attractive things is somebody who can control their emotions one of the most frustrating things is somebody who can control their emotions so when we go into a place where we are unhinged we are unstable we are unhappy in our life we need somebody who is unstable. We need somebody who is not emotionally intelligent because it feeds us. If we are emotionally unintelligent and we got somebody who's emotionally intelligent, we start to go crazy. We'll go crazy. And then when somebody who is emotionally intelligent gets used to dealing with somebody who is not they start to adapt if they stay and then when the person who is not emotionally intelligent becomes emotionally intelligent it could drive the other person who used to be emotionally intelligent crazy that's what we got to understand but see one thing i'm noticing is that it's men today that are getting married and they picking women who do not look like what we've been told women gonna look like in this day and age who getting married so we've been led to believe that if a woman getting married today she got a perfect set of these that's standing up perky she got the perfect handful and a half of booty cheek she got no stomach uh thighs and calves look like old nice drumstick and skin ain't got a blemish on it she caramel or something or some kind of complexion that's supposed to be exotic she got long hair it's all hers that's what we've been told because that's what you'll see some of the athletes try to find this woman thinking that that's the picture of beauty, but they really ain't getting married. When you actually watch people get married, it's dark-skinned women getting married and people be hating on melanin. It's dark-skinned women getting married. It's women who under five, six getting married. It's women who they body does not look like they just stepped out somebody magazine. They, they, they carry that that biscuit or that cake or that hamburger that they eat and they happy with it they confident they might be working on it but they still walking in their confidence and guess what these women getting married you know why they getting married emotional intelligence the men who getting married some of them is under five eight some of them don't look like the bill of health that we've been shown on TV. They don't look like a Michael B. Jordan or whoever the women is attracted to right now. They look the complete opposite. Emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. That's going to become the new secret. If you can control your if you can control your mind 
control your attitude and guess what that's something i'm still working on at 39 years old i'm still working on it because depending on where you come from depending on what you come from depending on what you did all that play a part but this is where we got to get to this is where we got to get to we got to get to that place to where we able to say you know what i'm finna make sure i'm finna make sure that i'm on point i'm finna make sure that I say in my mind what I'm getting ready to say out my mouth and I'm gonna evaluate it. So let me, let me help you understand about this emotional intelligence now because I have to do this actively because I also have had brain trauma from having countless concussions playing college football or playing football period because you get them before college too. And that's why you shouldn't let your son play football or contact sport that's gonna have a lot of concussions because the brain is a delicate thing. I'm gonna tell you right now, put your son in tennis, put your son in golf. Even, even in baseball and soccer, you can have concussions, soccer for sure, but not as many. But I'm gonna tell you, go to a foundation that sponsor kids. If you ain't got the money, Put your child in tennis. Put child in tennis. I'm telling you that right now. Tennis. Go ahead, tennis. We ain't got enough people in tennis. Especially if you is of color. If you're not of color, it's a lot of people that's not of color in tennis and golf. And God bless y'all. Y'all keep y'all in tennis and golf too. But I'll tell you right now. Tennis. Baseball. I ain't even crazy about soccer, even though my sons play soccer, but soccer could work too. Just ain't that big in America. But tennis big in America, golf big in America, baseball big in America, and you ain't got to worry about as many concussions. That's all a little side side note. And then when you put your son in it and they become pro, uh, send me a chat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, send me a chat. And so now listen to me. When you get ready to text something, you gotta ask yourself, okay, what I'm getting ready to text. Okay, when I text this to this man or woman that you're dealing with, depending on you know who, who you dating, <coughs> what's gonna be the response? What's gonna be the thought? What's gonna be the thought? What's gonna be the response? And you think about it from every angle. Look at it from your angle, look at it from their angle, then look at it from an outsider looking in angle. You evaluate it every way. Should you still text it? Or should you change how you text it? Or should you not text it at all? That's emotionally intelligent. Before you get ready to say something, you say it in your mind. You listen to it back. You look at it from all the angles now. I just gave you a few angles, but you can add angles. So what I'm finna do, before I say something, I'm finna think, okay. I'm finna ask myself, where's this coming from? Is it coming from love? Is it coming from confidence? Is it coming from self-love? Or is this coming from fear? Is this coming from insecurity? Is this coming from anger? Is this coming from jealousy? Is this coming from worry? Is this coming from pain? Is this coming from resentment? abandonment where is this coming from so get to the root of where this these words or this action is coming from and evaluate it if it's not from a healthy place you got to uproot it you got to uproot it don't say it don't test it don't do it got to be changed next thing i'm gonna tell you when you evaluate it, sometimes you got to evaluate things from your perspective, their perspective, God perspective. God reading this text, God see this action, God hearing what you about to say or do, how it's going to be judged. See, a lot of times we remove God out of the equation. 
Especially those of us who call ourselves Christian. Even some of y'all who call yourself Muslim. You remove God out the equation. And we'll get irate. We'll act a donkey. We will act a donkey. You hear me? And forget all about who we say we serve. And see, that's what I'm working on actively. That's what I'm actively working on. To just make sure that my texts, that my actions, that when I'm talking to my children, when I'm talking to my wife, the other day I went off on my son. And I would have said things different if I would have thought about what would Jesus think if he was sitting right here? What would Jesus think? I would have said things differently. And yeah, people, people, we grow. You know, we get to a place to where we seek understanding. But in the moment of being ridiculed or thrashed or verbally lashed or in the moment, we don't understand that. We don't understand that in the moment. We can't hear that in the moment. In the moment, we like, man, listen, I ain't trying to hear what you talk about, man. I'm mad with you. And it takes some time. It takes time to, okay, maybe this is where they meant. Maybe this is where they coming from. Maybe it was meant in love. But what we got to take and do is we got to start being proactive. Being proactive and making sure we doing what we supposed to do to be and show and represent that emotional intelligence. That's what we got to do. So, hey, I'm home with my boys. Make sure you use the coupon code 90, get 90% 90 off the business courses, not the Life Code certification, not the mastermind, not the growth club, but the other ones. And the love and relationship courses, all the other courses. Hit the coupon code 90. Give you 90% off. I know it's crazy. It's on TonyGasselAcademy.com. Just picked up the, me and the boys some breakfast. Talking to my wife on text message. She going to the excursion. They about to do zip line and horse riding and all of that. They're having an old good old time. An old good old time. And guess what? I ain't even jealous. And I'm going to tell you something. I appreciate this a long time with my boys. I appreciate the long time in the bed at night. Me and my wife been been married 16 years, and I'm guarantee you she appreciate it too, because that's what a lot of times people fail to realize in a relationship is, if you can't appreciate the separation when you're not together, that means that you codependent. In a relation in a relationship, you shouldn't be codependent. You should be interdependent. Meaning that you depend on each other for the things you need each other for, but you still are independent when you need to be independent. It's two independent people coming together and becoming interdependent. See, codependency is when two dependent people come together and now they can't live, breathe, think, eat, sleep without each other. So now they become codependent. But you want to be interdependent. So I know my wife appreciating this time. Just away. Of course, we miss each other. I know she miss the boys. She may or may not miss me. I miss her. But even though I miss her, it ain't like I'm just sitting here. Oh, I can't wait to get back. Oh, I got to hurry up, get back. Uh -uh. So what I'm about to do is look up a little place, see if I can find somewhere nice in uh, Reunion, Florida, since it was raining up in Vermont. We was going to the farm. I'm gonna see if I can find somewhere nice in Reunion, Florida. And uh, cause they be having them houses with the game rooms in there and them pools. I need a pool, I need a jacuzzi, and I need the game room. And me and my boys, we're gonna book us a few nights over there. I kinda wanna book an extra couple extra nights so when my wife come back, I can invite her over there she come over there and see how we live. Ugh, see how we live. But um wanna throw that out there and just tell you, like, add that even for the singles. And if you're in a relationship, add that to your relationship, roller decks, and just understand the importance of interdependence instead of codependence. And instead of dependence. 
and instead of independence interdependent hey this is tony gasson god bless you we'll talk soon